Hello, this is Chuck Martin. I'm here at the AI Summit London, and I'm happy to say I've got with me here from Informa, Michelle Nigam, and, and for Global Data Science and Development Director. Welcome. Oh, thank you so much, Chuck. It's a pleasure to be here in AI Summit. I'm with you here. So you're dealing with AI all the time. Uh, what are some of the things you're seeing in terms of challenges and opportunities? Well, the recent advancements in AI brings in, uh, brings in different challenges that we have foreseen before. Uh, First of, first of the challenges is AI being biased sometimes because the inherent data that we have been collecting so far somehow contains the societal bias in it and, and, the, and the AI models that are developed over it contains that bias. That's pro potentially the first or primary uh, concern right now. The further more concerns are about explainability of AI models. So, the, uh, so specifically, deep learning models are considered as black box models. Uh, they don't explain their outcomes, on some, and if it's a predictive modeling scenario, they, they don't explain their predictions as well. Imagine in the, in, the, in the areas where we wanted to utilize this model like criminal justice or disease det detection mechanisms. We wanted to know how model reached to certain conclusion or how it's doing the prediction. And, and explain, if models started explaining their predictions or their outcomes, we, we will be building a responsible AI, we will, be, uh, we will have more trust in our models, and uh, if, 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 in, if in any scenario model is not able to perform, we'll, we will have our own answers and resolution methods uh, developed over it. And third one, which, uh, which, which goes is, uh, is, is about data privacy. So, so there are many uh, number of AI models exploiting and reading data in and out for, uh, for, from all aspects. Now, that data that exists about an individual can be read and utilized in, 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 in a different ways that we could have imagined. So it, when you look at these models, and the, the black box issue is a big issue, with all these businesses now having to take things from the outside because they're not, they can't develop everything themselves unless they're a big monster company, how do they find out what's in the black box? Well, well this is because the area of deep learning and it contains a lot of uh, layers that, uh, that, can, that, uh, that are built inside the model. So, those models don't explain uh, their predictions, and, and it's even hard to do that. There are ways of building an explainable AI, so once the prediction has been made, you, you go back and read the data. There are research that exists right now which explains the predictions behind the model. And, uh, and this is still under research, but there are some good, uh, uh, some of the uh, a few research, research have reached to the level where we can explain the predictions, where we can explain the outcomes, and uh, contribute to the responsibility uh, uh, of, of, the, of the AI system, yeah. So you started a column in AI Business, which is extremely popular, by the way. Uh, tell me about your column. So uh, I started a column called, uh, uh, column called AI Edge, uh, uh, and for us, the uh, mission behind, uh, behind starting that column is we wanted to talk about potential risks that are coming with the advancements of AI, and also we wanted to talk about how a company or an organization or an individual practitioner can, hand, uh, can, can handle those risks or, or, or in some ways mitigate those, those risks. Uh, my last column talks about AI bias and highlights that what AI bias is and at the same time we gave an implementation details and how to handle AI bias in your model. So you're dealing with issues that everyone is dealing with in AI. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So. Um, so those issues, uh, so with, with the advancements, the, the issues are kept, kept on changing and implementation uh, needs to be in place before we jump on the AI wagon. So that's, that's, that's our motive behind right So now. are you going to be talking about generative AI in your columns? We will. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, when we talk about AI bias, we, uh, we also touch a, f uh, a few scenarios where generative AI is, is being biased about it. Uh, so few of the challenges with generative AI being being that, uh, that, that the generative AI models, when they, they face a different pro problem called hallucination. So, so, so the data that, that's, is, that's in line, that is utilized to train the models, uh, models don't have a way to validate whether it's, it's real data or it's, it's just, uh, it just uh, was some words that, that it's making up. And this is, this is the right now the biggest challenge with the, with the generative AI models, that, that there's no way to validate the, the, the inside data. And, and with the collection of different sources, it's, it's even harder to validate. And 
this, that's, a, that's a risk with generative AI model, and then there are ways to implement it. There, are, uh, there, are, there is research and work going on to dehallucinate a model, verify its source, and then uh, they take it to, the, to its users. So a year from now, we're sitting here having this conversation on AI. What will we be talking about in AI a year from now? A uh, year for, from now, we will be talking about, uh, uh, about totally different challenges and the, and the advancements. Because the way generative AI or AI is moving, uh, uh, with the speed that it's moving faster, we will be talking about the, uh, the potential implication on the workforce, because there's an augmented workforce that, that is being developed. Uh, more and more professionals have major involvement about, uh, uh, from AI in their work. So far, education, uh, uh, content creations, copywriting, they are, uh, they are, they are largely uh, not that impacted by the, uh, by, the, uh, by the advancements of AI. But next year, by the time this time, uh, 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 by the time this, uh, this next year, we will, have, we will be talking about their challenges in the educations and, and potentially how they, they were able to change their way of, of working with the advancements of, advancements of AI. Well, I look forward to that conversation. Thank, Thank you so much. much.